plot. Okay, so it has a stem. This will be the stem, what we write here on this side of the vertical bar. And this will be the leaves or the leaf for each stem, piece of the stem. Okay. Yes, we have to uh, sort the data in ascending order. So that's our first step. So I see the ones with one are three. So I will put the stem of one. And in order will be one, four, and eight. One, four, and eight. How do I read this? 11, 14, 18. Now I see a stem for two. I will put the stem of two, and I'll continue in that order. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. How do I read the information? 22, 23, 24. Next is three. I have three, I have three. So the next in line is three, two and six, two and six. Finally, the one, last one is four. And I have a one and a one and nothing else. One, one. So what do I see here? If I put it in the form of a histogram, I kind of see something like this. So three entries for one and two, and two and two. Too few data, the, the data set is too small for me to draw a conclusion, really. Just from 10 um, observations, it's kind of difficult for me to say what type of distribution this is. Okay. So since we're here, I already prepared this for you, and I'm going to, um, um, of course, attach it to the um, notes that I will post at the end of the class. We're looking at really four types of distributions. This is uniform. Everyone is the same. Everyone is the same. So between 18 and 20, we have 20. Between 0 and 2, we have 20. Before four, between 4 and 6, we have 20. Everything is the same. Uniform. Symmetric, uniform. This is something that we like to call bell-shaped. Bell-shaped distribution. You will see how the important this is in the rest of the course. This one is obviously, it has a long tail to the right. So it's skewed right. And the last one, same thing, but skewed to the left. Right? So this is the left is longer than the right. So that's why it's called skewed left. So these are the uh, distributions. So we looked at the stem and leaf plot and um, identified the distributions. And since we're here, I'm just going to show that. And then we, we can go ahead and work on. So this is what the time series is. It's based on time, between 1990 and 2007. So in 1990, I read whatever Dow, jo Dow Jones Industrial Average, the closing value, I read it right here. In the middle of 1991, I read it here. In the middle of 1992, I read it here. And 1993, here. And so on and so forth. In 2000, I read it here. So that's what it's called the time series. So the the middle, the, the dot is representing the um, uh, the right whatever the whatever the vertical axis represents. It doesn't matter. It just tells us what happened that year. It's an average. And same thing here for every year. So this is what it's called a time series graph something that we are looking at in time. Okay, so that's uh, what I wanted to look at. So I'm going to share my screen.
and go directly to, you can close this, you can save it again, go to save, where is my save button? Right here, go to save, save everything you've done, so you can go back to it, you can add to it, we can look back at uh, the data set and do other things with it later. So please make sure you are saving the two data sets. I'm going to try to go back to them. Okay, I don't need any of this anymore. Not this and not this. Uh, I closed uh, too many. That's okay. Back to it. So let's go back to 2. Chapter 2, homework 2. We still have... Um, Yes, we still have um, about seven, eight minutes. Good. I really wanted to do more, but uh, we can con will continue on uh, Wednesday. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so last time I think we started, remind me please, I think we started too, didn't we?